I am connected to Bungie server as Oracle user. In this session, we will take a look at how to convert a non-container database into a pluggable database in Oracle 12C. I will create a temporary folder. I will set up Oracle environment variables using error env script. I will log in to Oracle instance on this server using SQL plus assist EBA. I will query host name, instance name, instance status, and version from the dollar instance view. I will query database name, CDB, and open mode from the dollar database view. As you can see here, I have a database called Halo. It is a non-container database. This database instance is already open in read-write mode. In this session, we will take a look at how to convert this non-container database into a pluggable database. First, we have to open the non-container database in read-only mode. Then we can use dbms underscore pdb describe procedure. This procedure accepts two parameters, xml file name along with path and pdb name. This procedure will create an xml file containing all the details about the non-container database. Then we have to copy the data files and temp files to a temporary folder. Optionally, we can reopen non-container database for use. Now, we can take the data files and XML file and plug it into a root container as pluggable database. Finally, we have to run a script to convert non-container database to PDB. This script will clean up the database to make it a pluggable database. As you can see here, I have a database called Halo. It is a non-container database. This database instance is already open in read-write mode. First, I will shut down this database instance. Now, I will start up mount the database. Now, I will open the database instance in read-only mode. I will query host name, instance name, instance status, and version from the dollar instance view. I will query database name, CDB, and open mode from the dollar database view. Notice that now this database instance is open in read-only mode.
I will query v$ data file and v$ temp file for this non-container database and save the output into a file. Now, I will generate XML file for this non-container database using dbms underscore pdb describe procedure. This procedure accepts two parameters, XML file name along with path and pdb name. In this case, we will specify second parameter PDB name as null. This procedure will create an XML file containing all the details about this database. Now, I will shut down this database instance. I will exit from SQL Plus. I will edit hello ncdb files txt. I will create copy commands to copy these files to a temporary folder. Now, I will copy all the data files and temp files for this database to a temporary folder. Now, we have all the data files and the XML file related to this non-container database in a temporary folder. Now I have connected to Metal Gear Server as Oracle user. I will create a temporary folder. I will secure copy non-container database related files from Bungie server to this server.
I will create a folder for data files under error data folder. I will move data files to the proper location. I will examine hello ncdbxml file to check the original location of data files. On this server, I have placed data files in a different location. Only difference is the database, instance name and the pdb name. I will log in to Oracle instance on this server using SQL plus assist DBA. I will query host name, instance name, instance status and version from v$ instance view. I will query database name and cdb column from v$ database view. Notice that this is a container database. I have a saved SQL script called pdbs.sql. This contains a simple join on dba underscore pdbs and v$ pdbs. Join condition is on pdb name column. Con id is container id column. Now I will plug the Halo database as pdb destiny pluggable database using XML file. I will specify source file name convert clause. Source location is Halo. Target location is snake slash PDB destiny. I will specify no copy clause because all the files are already in proper folder locations. I will specify temp file reuse clause. I have plugged the non-container database as PDB destiny pluggable database. Now, we have to run one SQL script to clean up this pluggable database.
This script is located in Oracle Home RDBMS admin folder. I will change the container to PDB destiny using this auto session command. We can show container ID and container name to make sure current container is set to PDB destiny. Now I will run non CDB to PDB SQL script. This script will clean up all unnecessary database objects and will complete the conversion of non-container database to pluggable database. I will change the container bad to root container using this auto session command. We can show container ID and container name to make sure current container is set to root container. Now I will open PDB Destiny pluggable database in read write mode. I will query v$ data file and v$ temp file for pdb destiny pluggable database. I will check the data files in error data folder on the file system. As we can see here, pluggable database does not use undo table space. So we can delete the unused undo data file from the file system. In this session, we have converted a non-container database to a pluggable database.